Before you start this video, I would like you guys to hit that like button and share this video because it helps the viewership and it helps the algorithm. Also, if you've been missing out on daily videos, you're not receiving notifications, hit the bell button because I post very frequently. Sometimes people don't get notifications. And with that said, enjoy. I want to say, be careful when mixing traditions. You have a lot of spiritual junkies today. They watch a bunch of TikTok videos by TikTokers who don't even have experience themselves. <laughs> you know, this is the world we're living in today. A lot of people who don't know profess that they do know. And they lead a lot of people astray to the wayside. I want to say that mixing traditions can be, be very dangerous spiritually because let's just say you have Ifa, you have Palo Mayombe, they don't work the same. You have Hoodoo and you have Vodou, they don't work the same. I have saw recently someone who had an ancestral altar up they had a veve for legba they also had a shrine for yamoya in close proximity to everything they had going on now in experience an experienced Babalao will look at the altar and see that this is in disarrayment. This is completely out of tune, disorganized, spiritually chaotic. You have this person mixing Santeria, or excuse me, Ifa, Santeria, Vodou. Who do? And this here is creating a spiritual conflict across the board. A palero knows that you have to deal with the muerto, the deceased, in a specific way. When you're, you know what? I started to say something. <laughs> but a palero, a boko knows. And when you're dealing with the deceased, you don't want to have them around certain spirits. And when you're dealing with these spirits, they, you have to know if they're compatible or not. And if you're watching TikTokers, most of them don't even know. What I want to say is it's okay to do cross training, to see what they got going on here, see what they got going on there. But when you start blending these things without any experimentation, this is when you run into difficulty. And if you don't have the spiritual eyes to see, you're only destroying your own life. And if you are professing to be a leader and you're guiding people, you are only ruining the lives of others so prudence and take precaution everything has to be tested before you can come to a conclusion and say this is what it is if you know you know he who has an ear let them hear i'm out